Uh, just a small, there was a small uh, technical glitch. It's just small, so we're gonna have to restart the show. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hang in there. Our next presenter actually is a beautiful actress who speaks four languages. And earlier tonight, uh, she taught me the phrase, I'm calling security in all of them. <laughs> Please welcome Academy Award nominee, Penelope Cruz. <laughs> Good evening. It's time for the Foreign Language Film Award. Congratulations to all our nominated countries. The nominees are... Beaufort, from Israel, Joseph Sidar. <laughs> the Counterfeiters, from Austria, Stefan Rusovitsky. Nummer 75,517. König der Fälscher. Katinia, from Poland. Andre Vida. <laughs> Mongol, from Kazakhstan. Sergei Bodrov. <laughs> Twelve, from Russia. Nikita Mikalkov. And the Oscar goes to Austria for the counterfeiters, accepting the director, Stefan Rusovitsky. This is the first Academy Award and second nomination for Austria. Thank you very much. Um, uh, there have been some great Austrian filmmakers working here, uh, uh, thinking of Billy Wilder, Fred Zinnemann, Otto Preminger. Uh, most of them had to leave my country because of the Nazis, so it sort of makes sense uh, that the first Austrian movie to win an Oscar uh, is about the Nazis' crimes. Uh, making this movie, I had a, a most brilliant cast, a wonderful crew, the best of all families to support me at home. So actually it was easy for me. Uh, thank you very much. Please welcome one of the stars of Enchanted, the versatile and handsome Patrick Dempsey. Our final nominated song is also from the film Enchanted. It takes place at a pivotal moment in the plot when, uh, at a huge costume ball, Giselle, the character from the fairy tale, realizes she's in love with a very real person and becomes a real person herself. So Close is the name of the nominated ballad by Alan Menken and Stephen Schwartz, sung by John McLaughlin.
Thank you. That was the final nominee for this year's Oscar for Original Song. This is one of my favorite categories because a song can lift your spirits, communicate dreams, and define a movie's heart. And now it's time to announce the Oscar winner. To refresh your memories, here are the five songs selected as the best of this past year. From Once, Falling Slowly, Music, and Lyric. By Glenn Hansen and Marquette de Globa. From Enchanted, Happy Working Song, music by Alan Menken, lyric by Stephen Schwartz. From August Rush, Raise It Up, music and lyric by Jamal Joseph, Charles Mack, and Tevin Thomas. From Enchanted, So Close, music by Alan Menken, lyric by Stephen Schwartz. From Enchanted, That's How You Know, music by Alan Menken, aired by Stephen Schwartz. And the Oscar goes to, excuse me, Glenn Hansard and Marquette Globo for falling slowly for months. for Glenn Hansard and Marketa Iblova. Thanks. Poor of Mila Mila Margot. This is amazing. Uh, what are we doing here? This is mad. Uh, uh, we, we made this film uh, two years ago. Uh, we shot it on two handy cams. Uh, it took us three weeks to make. We made it for 100 grand. We never thought we'd ever come into a room like this and be in front of you people. Uh, it's been an amazing thing. And thanks for taking this film seriously, all of you. It means a lot to us. Thanks to the Academy. Thanks to all the people who have helped us. They know who they are. We don't need to say them. This is amazing. Make art. Make art. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Wow, that guy is so arrogant. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that, you, don't you feel just wonderful? That's just such a beautiful song. That really is a wonderful moment for them. Uh, wonderful. I do have a quick announcement. I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, it's to the owner of a Boeing 707 with California plates parked on La Brea. Your landing lights are on. You're, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Move it, move it. Don't worry, it's a hybrid. We'll be right back. It's a big surprise. Steven Spielberg, for some reason. I remember when they announced my name, everything warming up. I mean, feeling like a flush of, I don't know, male menopause. Schindler's List was the single most deeply felt experience I've ever had making a movie. To the six million who who can't be watching this among the one billion watching this telecast tonight. Thank you. It was a great night. One of the greatest nights of my entire life. We'll be back with more from John Stewart, plus Harrison Ford.
Uh, nice to see you again. I just wanted to do something very quickly. Uh, the winners of best song, uh, Marketa Irglova, didn't get a chance to say her thank you. So I, I just wanted to bring her out here again real quick, uh, just to get a chance to, do you want to come out real quick? I'm sorry. There you go. Enjoy your moment. Hi. Hi, everyone. I just want to thank you so much. Um, this is such a big deal, not only for us, but all, for all other independent musicians and, and artists that spend most of their time struggling. And this, the fact that we're standing here tonight, the fact that we're able to hold this is just, um, it's just a proof that no matter how far out your dreams are, it's possible. And, you know, fair play to those who dare to dream and don't give up. And, and this song was written from a perspective of hope and hope as we do. They're going nuts back there. It's so funny. Uh, uh, her partner in the song was holding his Oscar, and he said, let's have them kiss. And uh, she said, but they're both guys. And uh, so he goes, but it's Hollywood. So <laughs> I just thought you'd enjoy that. Uh, our next presenter is talented and beautiful. Apparently, that's what you need to get ahead in this town. Uh, please welcome Cameron Diaz. Oscars ago, the first award for cinema cinematography, oh, I can do it, went to a silent movie called Sunrise. The three lead characters were called, in the actual script, the man, the wife, and the woman from the city. Sounds like a fun shoot. From that first job of framing those faces to today, the cinematographers have captured the most memorable images of movie history. For the best, Cinematography. The nominees are Roger Deakins for the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. Seamus McGarvey for atonement. Janusz Kaminski for the diving bell and the butterfly. Roger Deakins for No Country for Old Men. Robert Ellswick for There Will Be Blood. And the Oscar goes to... For There Will Be Blood, Robert Ellswick. This is the first Academy Award and second nomination for Robert Ellswick. He was previously nominated in this category for Good Night and Good Luck. Um, John Toll won this a number of years ago, said that the um, production designer on his movie, that 50% that, that of it belonged to him. Well, 80% belongs to Jack Fisk and his production team. And David Crank and um, Dylan Titchener. But it really, we all know it really, really belongs to Paul, that this is his imagination and his energy and his extraordinary vision and sort of enable us to create the world of There Will Be Blood. Uh, thank you, Paul. But uh, we're really all standing on the shoulders, we know this, of, of Daniel Day-Lewis, who isn't here right now, but thank you all so much. Thank you. And Helen, thank you so much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, two-time Academy Award winner, Hilary Swank. Good evening. On a night, we celebrate those among us whose work and achievements in film during the past year deserve our highest honors. We pause to remember those whose work is done. Some of these giants of cinema were in front of the camera, others behind it. Some were names known to the entire world, others famous only to their peers. Some made their marks in decade long ago. Sadly, a few were taken from us much too soon with their best yet to come. Though they may be gone, they leave us a legacy, 
that is eternal. Would the unseen shark in Jaws be as menacing without this? Would the first contact made with the alien spaceship in Close Encounters be as thrilling without this memorable sound? Would our hearts beat quite as rapidly as Rocky stands proudly waving his arms on the top steps of the Philadelphia Museum of Art without this? Of course, the answer to those questions and a thousand more like them is a resounding no. For those glorious moments, we have to thank the brilliantly inventive composers who create the musical scores. This year, the nominees for original score are... Atonement by Dario Marianelli. The Kite Runner by Alberto Iglesias. Michael Clayton by James Newton Howard. Ratatouille by Michael Giacchino. Three Ten to Yuma by Marco Beltrami. 
the Oscar goes to Dario Marianelli for Atonement. That was, that was a very long walk, it felt like. Um, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm a very lucky man. Um, thank you very much, Academy. I'm, I'm very lucky because I was part of a, of a fantastic group of people that made a fantastic film. It's, uh, I think uh, it's, it's called Movie because it's a very moving film and I'm really grateful. Um, above all, to Joe Wright, the director, to have included me in this fantastic group of gifted people. Um, I'm uh, um, very grateful to my uh, good friends for supporting me through uh, um, lots of things through these years and my family uh, who I love very much. Uh, my girls and uh, um, my father and my mother, thank you for passing on a very deep and strong love of music. Thank you. <laughs> Steve's still awake. Our next presenter, Tom Hanks, has won two Academy Awards, although he was not nominated tonight. So if you ask me, he has no place being here. <laughs> He's got a lot of nerve, that guy. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Hanks. <laughs> There are a lot of men and women we care very deeply about who haven't been home for quite a while. So we wanted to give them the opportunity to be part of this Hollywood's most magic night of nights. So let's join them just down La Brea Avenue in a little place we like to call Baghdad. Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Kenji Toolwhite from San Diego, California. On behalf of all the service members serving here in Iraq, we want to thank you for making us part of the 80th Annual Academy Awards. We watch a ton of movies over here, and we love them all. It is our honor to present to you the Oscar for Best Documentary Short Subject. Hi, I'm Petty Officer Joseph Smith, and the first nominee is Freeheld, Cynthia Wade, and Vanessa Roth. Hello, I'm Specialist Charles Highland from Cleveland, Ohio. And the second nominee is La Corona, The Crown, Amanda Michelli and Isabel Vega. I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Andrea Newson from Los Angeles, California. And the third nominee is Salim Baba, Tim Sternberg, and Francisco Bello. Hi, I'm Marine First Lieutenant Curtis Williamson from Austin, Texas. The fourth and final nominee is Sari's mother, James Longley. Hi, I'm Specialist Alexandria Cornero from St. Thomas, the United States Virgin Islands, and the Oscar goes to Freeheld, Cynthia Wade and Vanessa Ross. Congratulations. nomination for Cynthia Wade and Vanessa Ross. Thank you. It was Lieutenant Laurel Hester's dying wish that her fight for against discrimination would make a difference for all the same-sex couples across the country that face discrimination every day. Discrimination that I don't face as a married woman. I want to thank Sheila Evans and HBO for making this film have a broadcast and a home on Cinemax later this year. To my husband, Matthew Surrett, who took care of our children and held down a full-time job so that we could make this film. And to our incredible team in New York, thank you so much.
And to all our supporters and our families who believed that a 38, even a 38-minute movie could change minds and lives, and our children who remind us about what's really important, and to Stacy, who's here tonight, who's really auto mechanic by day, but hero in life, who always did what was right, and she's here tonight. So thank, thank you, you so Stacey. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There is, as always in this category of nominated documentary features, a willingness of the filmmakers to explore controversial subjects and to use the camera to bring the world the truth of what they see. Two of the films explore the war in Iraq. The third nominee examines the American health care system. And the fourth nominee tells the story of abuses committed during the interrogation of political prisoners. The final documentary feature tells the story of three students in a Ugandan refugee camp who find a lifeline of a hope, at last hope, uh, when they enter a music competition. Here are the nominees for Best Documentary Feature. No End in Sight, Charles Ferguson and Audrey Mars. After the fall of Baghdad, there certainly didn't seem to be much of a plan. Because the U.S. didn't do anything to control the looting, everything that's been a problem since then started in that first month. Operation Homecoming, writing the wartime experience. Richard E. Robbins. Rousseau wrote, to yield to force is an act of necessity, not of will. It is at best an act of prudence, what every soldier should know. Sicko, Michael Moore and Megan O'Hara. He sawed off the tops of two of his fingers. So the hospital gave him a choice, reattach the middle finger for $60,000, or do the ring finger for $12,000. Taxi to the Dark Side, Alex Gibney and Eva Orner. On December 5, 2002, Dilawar, the taxi driver, was brought to Bagram. Five days after his arrival, he was dead. War Dance, Andrea Nix Fine and Sean Fine. <laughs> and the Oscar goes to for Taxi to the Dark Side, Alex Gibney and Eva Orner. the first Academy Award for Alex Gibney and Eva Orner. <laughs> wow. Thank you very much, Academy. Uh, here's to all doc filmmakers. And... <laughs> truth is, uh, I think my dear wife, Ann, was kind of hoping I'd make a romantic comedy. Um, but honestly, after um, Guantanamo, Abu Ghraib, extraordinary rendition, that simply wasn't possible. This is dedicated to two people who are no longer with us. Dilawar, the young Afghan taxi driver, and my father, uh, a Navy interrogator, who urged me to make this film because of his fury about what was being done to the rule of law. Let's hope we can turn this country around, move away from the dark side and back to the light. Thank you very much. Elton John and Tim Reds, can you feel the love tonight? I felt like a kid in a candy store. Yes, I wanted to make music and everything like that, but to actually be at the Oscars? To my grandmother. She was the one that sat me down at the piano when I was three and made me play. So I'm accepting this in her honor. Thank you very much. I don't think I could stop grinning for about a week. You know, they have great awards. They're not flimsy pieces of cardboard. They are the real deal. When we return, Harrison Ford, Helen Mir Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the program. Our next presenter is either an internationally acclaimed movie star or an auto dealership. Ladies and gentlemen, Harrison Ford.
Movies are made of ideas and pictures and words. Before anyone gets in front of a camera, somebody sits in a room armed only with a computer and their imagination, writing the words that bring those ideas to life. The nominees for original screenplay are Diablo Cody for Juno. God, at school, everyone's just grabbing my belly all the time. It's crazy. I'm a legend, you know? They call me the cautionary whale. Nancy Oliver for Lars and the Real Girl. You know, Bianca's a, a missionary. Well, was a missionary, right? Sorry. Because she was raised by nuns. Tony Gilroy for Michael Clayton. I'm not the enemy. Then who are you? Brad Bird, Jan Pinkova, and Jim Capobianco for Ratatouille. Ratatouille doesn't sound delicious. It sounds like rat and patootie. Tamara Jenkins for The Savages. Look at this. We're in a motel room in Buffalo. I mean, it's embarrassing. It's a cliche. And the Oscar goes to... Diablo Cody for Juno. This is the first Academy Award in nomination for Diablo Cody. What is happening? <laughs> Um, this is for the writers, and uh, I, I, I want to thank all the writers. I especially want to thank the, my, my fellow nominees, because I, I, I worship you guys, and I'm, I'm, I'm learning from you every day, so thank you very much. Um, I want to thank the Academy. Uh, I want to thank Fox Searchlight, Mr. Mudd, Mandate, Dan DeBecky. Uh, I want to thank our incredible cast, including the superhuman Ellen Page. Um, Um, uh, I want to thank Jason Reitman, who I consider a member of my family, and I, I'm in awe of his talent as a filmmaker. Um, I want to thank Sarah Self. Uh, I want to thank Mason Novick, who knew I could do this before I did. And most of all, I want to thank my family for loving me exactly the way I am. <laughs> Stay tuned for Helen Mirren, Denzel Washington, and the award for lead actor, director, and best picture. Think for all of us to present the award for the best actor, Miss Betty Davis. The winner is Marlon Brando's On the Waterfront. It's much heavier than I imagined. Humphrey Bogart in the And it's Gordon. Gregory Peck in John Wayne. I feel very grateful, very humble, and all thanks to many, many people. It's Mr. Gene Hackman. <laughs> Jack Lemon to save the tiger. I think it is one hell of an honor, and I am thrilled. Jack Nicholson and Wes <laughs> Robert De Niro. Dustin Hoffman. Daniel Day Lewis and my love for Jeremy Irons. Anthony Hopkins, Al Pacino, and Cynthia. Tom Hanks in Philadelphia. I know that my work in this case is magnified by the fact that the streets of heaven are too crowded with angels. Nicholas Cage, Russell Crowe, Denzel Washington, Adrian Brody, Sean Penn, Jamie Foxx, and Ray, Philip Seymour Hoffman for actor in a leading role. The Oscar goes to Horace Whitaker in The Last King of possible for a kid raised in South Central LA who believes in his dreams to have them happen. Thank you. And now to present this year's award for lead actor, Academy Award winner, Helen Mirren.
ambition, immorality, greed, deviousness, misery, venality, remorse, nobility, generosity, decency, and good old-fashioned cojones. <laughs> I know these sound like the description of the requirements to be a successful, successful studio head, but in fact, these are the facets of the rainbow of human behavior reflected by the powerful performances of our leading actor nominees, who are George Clooney in Michael Clayton. I'm gonna make it easy. Let's make it five. Five and I'll forget about Arthur. Five is easier. Yeah, five is something we, we could talk about. Good. And then the other five is to forget about the 468 people that you knocked off with your weed killer. Let me finish up this meeting. I'll talk to Do Don. I look like I'm negotiating? Daniel Day-Lewis in There Will Be Blood. Say it louder. I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my boy! Who begs for the blood! Just give me the blood, Eli. Let me get out of here. Give me the blood, Lord! And let me get away! Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. Johnny Depp in Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. All right, you, sir, how about a shave? Come and visit your good friend Sweeney. You, sir, too, sir. Welcome to the grave. I will have vengeance. I will have salvation. Tommy Lee Jones in the Valley of Ella. It wasn't them. I'm sorry? I don't know why they lied in their statements about not being with him, but they didn't do it. They were fighting in the parking they lot. They were blowing off steam. You have not been to war, so you're not going to understand this. You do not fight beside a man and then do that to him. That's quite the world you live in. Find out why they lied. There'll be a reason. Viggo Mortensen in Eastern Promises. Better burn wallet. Okay. Now I'm going to do his teeth and cut off his fingers. You might want to leave it on. Great performances all. And the Oscar goes to Daniel Day Lewis, and there will be blood. This is the second Academy Award and fourth nomination for Daniel Day Lewis. That's the closest I'll ever come to getting a knighthood, so thank you. <laughs> my, my deepest thanks to the members of the Academy for, for whacking me with the handsomest bludgeon in town. Uh, I, I'm looking at this gorgeous thing that you've given me, and I'm thinking back to the first devilish whisper of an idea that came to him and everything since, and. It seems to me that this sprang like a golden sapling out of the mad, beautiful head of Paul Thomas Anderson. <laughs> I wish my son and my partner, H.W. Plainview, were up here with me, the mighty Dylan Frazier. Um, so many people to thank. Uh, one amongst them would be Mrs. Plainview down there the enchantingly optimistic, open-minded, and beautiful Rebecca Miller. 
I hope that all those to whom I owe and whom I feel the deepest gratitude will forgive me if I say just simply, thank you, Paul. Um, I've been thinking a lot about fathers and sons in the course of this and like to accept this in the memory of my grandfather, Michael Balkan, my father, Cecil Day-Lewis, and my three fine boys, Gabriel, Ronan, and Cashel. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Academy Awards will return in a moment with the Oscars for Directing and Best Picture. Directors, hater directors, directors that are kind and tolerant, they're understanding. There are also directors that are mean and petty and contemptible. Some directors are short. And some are tall. We have all of these directors with us tonight. And the Oscar goes to Joseph L. Mankiewicz, John Huston, Treasure Sierra Maggi, Giant George Stevens, The Bridge on the River Kwai. I never dreamt that, that bridge of ours would carry me here to. Hollywood for the first time. Mike Nichols, the graduate. William Friedkin. Francis Ford Coppola. Milos Forman. Robert Redford. Well, I just didn't think I was going to see this. Warren Beatty. <laughs> Richard Attenborough for Gandhi. James L. Brooks, the Times of India. I'm overwhelmed. I'm very grateful. Sidney Pollack. Barry Levinson. Oliver Stone. Kevin Costner. The Dances of Jonathan Demme for Silence of the Lambs. Robert Zemeckis. Mel Gibson. James Cameron. On the King of the World. Steven Spielberg for Saving Private Ryan. Sam Mendy. Steven Soderbergh for Traffic. Ron Howard. I'm not a good enough actor anymore to be able to stand up here and make you believe that I haven't imagined this moment about a thousand times. Peter Jackson. He's good. baby. And Lee for Brokeback Mountain. Martin Scorsese. Could you double check the envelope? Yes. I'm overwhelmed with this honor with the Academy and also the honor of um, being presented by my old, old friends. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the great Martin Scorsese. Thank you. I am so pleased to be back here tonight, and I'm honored to have the opportunity to present one of these wonderful artists, or perhaps two of them, with the Oscar for Best Director, an award that, trust me, will mean so much to the recipient. Now, the nominees for Achievement in Directing are... For The Diving Bell and the Butterfly, Julian Schnabel. For Juno, Jason Reitman. For Michael Clayton, Tony Gilroy. For No Country for Old Men, Joel Cohen and Ethan Cohen. For There Will Be Blood, Paul Thomas Anderson. And the, uh, the Oscar goes to Joel Cohen and Ethan Cohen. No country for old men. <clears throat> this is the third Academy Award for Joel Cohen and Ethan Cohen, and their second tonight. I, um, I don't have a lot to add to what I said earlier. Thank you. Um, Ethan and I uh, have been making stories with movie cameras since we were kids. Um, in the late 60s, when Ethan was 11 or 12, he got a suit and a briefcase, and we went to the Minneapolis International Airport 
the Super 8 Cameron made a movie about shuttle diplomacy called Henry Kissinger, Man on the Go. Um, and honestly, what we do now doesn't feel that much different from what we were doing then. Um, there are too many people to thank for this. We're really thrilled to have received it, and we're very thankful to all of you out there for letting us continue to play in our corner of the sandbox. So thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, two-time Academy Award winner, Denzel Washington. There are 79 classic films this Academy has named Best Picture. Right now, it's time to find out which one is number 80. The nominees for Best Motion Picture are... Atonement. Tim Bevan, Eric Fellner, Paul Webster, producers. Juno, Leanne Halfin, Mason Novick, and Russell Smith, producers. Michael Clayton, Sidney Pollack, Jennifer Fox, Carrie Orant, producers. No Country for Old Men, Scott Rudin, Ethan Cohen, and Joel Cohen, producers. There Will Be Blood, Joanne Seller, Paul Thomas Anderson, and Daniel Lupi, producers. And the Oscar goes to... No Country for Old Men, Scott Rudin, Ethan Cohen, and Joel Cohen, producers. This is an unbelievable honor and a, a complete surprise. Um, so many people have a part of this, uh, chief among them Cormac McCarthy, who wrote a wonderful book that it was an honor to make into a movie. So the, uh, the three men sitting down front, Josh Brolin, Tommy Lee Jones, Javier Bardem, without them there would be no movie. Um, these two gentlemen, I can't think of anybody I would rather be standing here with than the two of you. Thank you so much for this. Uh, everybody at Vantage and Miramax who financed the movie together, the entire team at Miramax who did a brilliant, brilliant job selling it. Thank you to all of them. I want to thank um, Mark Royball. It's a pleasure to work with him every day. I want to thank my friend Sidney Pollack who taught me that with the responsibility, with the, with, the, with the opportunity to make movies comes the responsibility of making them good. This is for him. This is also for my partner, John Barlow. Without you, honey, this would be hardware. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just <laughs> shoot me. Hands on this technology.